Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is the Propolitan Economy Milano. Today, I would like to present the analysis results on the forest degradation in the plan of job discuss experiment. The team includes many radar scientists from Politan Economy Milano, Onera, and Setio. Recent study from the Jobis campaign showed that the forest vertical structure represents a key element to characterize scattering in the tropical forest and provide a more direct link to forest biomass. And both inside and particularly soil demography can provide forest vertical structure. As a consequence, the biomass mission is planned to operate this in a tomography phase. During this phase, the system will be able to to gather multiple acquisitions, such are uh, characterized by a small space line and a really bad tie in the order of few days, thus allowing tomographic images in the optical layer. As you can see in the figure here, uh, so, sorry, uh, on the left figure, you see this is depicts a concept of the tomographic configuration, and on the right one is a potential result which are reconstructed from the Trobisat data, which definitely allow us to see the vertical forest structure. There is this phase uh, enforcing with a repeated time about three to four days and uh, for the tomography images, after which it will increase to about 70 days to 25 days for single or dual baseline boring sun measurements. Clearly, uh, the availability of multiple bars is a necessary condition for soil tomography, uh, after which uh, it follows that the replicability of the result above based on spaceborne data is strictly connected to the stability of the forest scattering over time. Unfortunately, that uh, the orbit constraint in the sun synchronous satellite configuration, the, re the revisit time is at least one day. So therefore, the forest scattering changes over time. Accordingly, that evaluation, the impact of the temporal decorrelation in the forest areas is a crucial issue. The goal of this talk is to report the study of the temporal decorrelation of the scattering mechanism of the radar signal in the tropical forest as a function of forest high polarization. Uh, the the Chobis Craft Bay experimental is planned to give an answer to this question. The experiment was chosen to be set up in the particle field station with the same size investigated from the Chobisa data. Uh, the experiment, the, the equipment will be set up on the top of the tower, as you can see here, on the top of the tower to radiate from B to L band radar signal to the forest below. On the left, you can see that in the tower, we definitely can be seen through the tomographic images from the SAC from the job campaign data. The tomography uh, system has been designed to, uh, to provide a vertical, fully polarization, uh, vertical resolution capability to gather data continuously for about one year and to provide a sufficient number of loops for reliable, coherent evaluation uh, in the several high levels uh, within the forest within the forest. Uh, in this system, as a tomography image, the tamarons samples in 15 minutes, just allowing 96 samples per day, just allowing for study both short-term and long-term tamaron decoration at a function up high in the forest. And this is the result. The slide shows so what so the, the tomogram at P pens uh, SP band, for example, this one is SH channel, SV channel. Uh, the left, right, the left, right, the bottom right, the bottom left should be VS, and the last one VV. Uh, all the panel has been plastered so as to bring the tier end level to euro meter, so as to have visualization and interpretation of the result. Is it, however, important to know that the tier and topography in this in the element area, area is characterized by a strong mass slope, i.e., the tier and tier away from the tower? 
this leads to the option of scattering contribution from the crowd trans interactions. By closely, the, by closely examining the thermogram, we can see the structure of the forest. For example, we can see that, uh, for example, from uh, 50 meter to 100 meter, we can see the, the thermographic image saw the contribution from the ground and the top about 30 meter up. Uh, it is interesting to know there is a substantial gap between two layers. It suggests a very dense canopy on top. Far away, far away from uh, the tower, about 200 meter, the image is not as certain due to both increased uh, instant and the vertical resolution loss. Thanks to very fine temporal resolution, it is possible to make a, a tomographic image movie to capture for everything. Would you like to watch that movie? Before I open the movie, please know the tie in that in the title of its panel. For example, zero S is corresponding to local midnight. I don't Okay. 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 As you can see, during daytime, the motion of forest is strong due to due to maybe windy turbine temperature variation, and at the night time, it's a bit to be much more stable. Another interesting result that we we found that uh, the location of center of mass in the forest is helping observed to go up and down during the daytime. And of course, we can capture that motion too. So we go back. Here is the law of the motion. We found that this motion has a strong correlation with the temporal variation during one day. For example, the top is the law of the motions, and the bottom is the temporal variation over one day at the function of high. For example, the blue one is about, is about 50 meters, in, I mean, in the top of the tower. And as you can see here, this strong up correlation phenomenon maybe suggests there is a, uh, this phenomenon might be. Uh, connect to the water content inside the vegetation layer. Uh, one possible explanation can be considered by uh, consider evable transpiration phenomena. For example, with, temp with the changing of the temperature, the exchange of the oxygen and carbon dioxide varies between leaves and atmosphere varies. So this, this leads to the water content inside the trunks varies. Uh, for example, you see the forest store the forest store uh, the forest will store the water uh, inside them overnight, and then afternoon with higher temperature, and in the afternoon, uh, sorry, in the morning when high, with higher temperature, and in the afternoon when the temperature goes down, the center of mass shifts. We can do it. Okay, we move to another internet, uh, interesting results. For example, uh, in here we, we show that uh, uh, how there's the coherent changes at the function of forest high. And what is the best high for, day, for daily data acquisition? And we can give such, uh, such questions by examining the Tamaron day night coherency matrix. In here we show the coherency matrix in every channel at a function of high. For example, uh, on the top on the top left is zero meter, I mean ground layer. On the top right is 10 meter above the ground. You want 20 meter and the final one 30 meter. Uh, as you can see here, on the panel is it uh, the same behavior. It means 
the temporal coherent drop during daytime. And it's similar well, as from uh, But you can see that uh, in the crowd layer is a little bit more stable. What about the other channels? Same observation can be made. In depth, we can even decompose the stable and varying uh, mechanics information. It is possible to, uh, to describe its main contribution from the Bullery matrix and Tamron point of view. In depth, we can use the answer uh, synthesized technique to, to describe, to recognize, and separate its, conf uh, its uh, information corresponding to its contribution, resulting in a stable and varying mechanism information. In the slide, we, sh we show uh, all the channel's information as well as with uh, stable and varying components. Uh, we can see here the tether interferon matrix amplitude and the phase variation during day and night at a function of high. For example, this is a zero meter, 10 meter, 20 meter. Again, we can see that uh, in the crowd layer, the variation is much more stable. The result is interesting because it suggests that the, in the tropical forest, uh, maybe the other, where well, maybe uh, we can be optimized by just gather the data in the night time, in the night time for example, from door to door. Uh, based on this data analysis, we, we use this, this dust door tie to investigate it, the long time span for investigation coherence. For example, uh, what, is, what is the temporal decoration in the forest at P-band, say after three days for cytomography or processing. Uh, and you can see here, after three days, the average coherence is remarkable high. Uh, and in the, about uh, 10 meters above the ground, we can see it's a little bit uh, lower. And that's what, what is about the burning sap, for example, how much is the temporal decorations in forest at peak and say after 25 days for burning sap inversion. For example, you see, uh, oh, it's pretty good now. It's also still good. Uh, it means that uh, the good result from the burning sap can be expected as well. Uh, again, we can see uh, at the 10 meters above the ground, it's also a little bit lower and also the middle, but uh, anyway, in the crowd layer is quite stable and very and high coherence too. Finally, it's bad. we can make a tight series data out of the Tamron coherence, and, when, when, and, when, uh, and, we, uh, and we can even um, model the Tamron decoration as follows. We model the Tamron decoration as, a, as, a, an, expand, as an exponential decay with an initial value and a tight constant. Uh, this model is, is well now in a solid iterator. Uh, the tie constant will give us an idea about the lifetime of the scatterer. And uh, for the model identification, the parameter can be, uh, can be, uh, can be estimated by trying many combinations and choosing the best one based on the, the figure of merits. And this is the result. It's on the last slide. Uh, two minutes, ten. Uh, in the slide here, we saw the quantity expectation of the Tamron coherent as a function of high and polarization. For example, that in every channel, uh, we can see after three days and after 25 days, the value. For example, after 25 days, we can see the value about uh, 0.8 and 0, uh, 0 0.9 for the, ground for the ground level and 0.7 in the middle of the layer, just uh, witnessing the coherency sensitivity to high. The black, the black and the green light denotes, uh, the, uh, denotes the three days and 25 days with the forcing for the biomass mission. In summary, that's uh, the first ever, at least to our knowledge, that's the tomography movie capturing the forest daily chance in Happy Rodeo. And the analysis uh, revealed the diagonal vertical motion of the forest center of mass 
the Tamaron's decorrelation analysis in one day suggests that should be maybe position by mission in the daughter time, since it will minimize not only the anosophic disturbance, and, but also the temporal coherent loss. Finally, from the long-term temporal degradation, we see that the expectation of the temporal coherence in the LV channel has been observed about 0 0.8 at the ground level and 0 0.7 in the middle of the, of the layer. So, so far, we have seen their coherency sensitivity to high. And that's all. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>